Okay, in this video we've had a uh, request from somebody asking us how to save your toolbars and basically your workspace is is really I think what they're asking and um, never really thought about it too much um, I've never really had a chance to do this but it's also a good thing to keep a backup if uh, something would happen to your workspace and you want to get it back um, but there is a pretty easy way to do it um, the only thing I don't recommend is that you save your workspace um, in one version of CorelDRAW and try to import it into a, uh, a newer version or vice versa. That It actually does work sometimes but I've heard where it can cause problems so um, if you upgrade or something to a new version of CorelDRAW I, su I suggest you just sit down and, and redo your workspace the way you want it with that new version. So. That being said, I'm going to point out here a couple things about my workspace that I've got laid out here on this computer. I, as you can see, I've got a few dockers here um, that automatically open up when I, when I start the program. And up here, I've also made a change from the default is I have the Publish PDF button. I have it up here because I make a lot of PDFs, so I like to put it up here rather than going up to the File menu. And the only reason I'm pointing them out is to show you that once we save this and bring it back that those things will be back and your workspace should be exactly like you left it if you save everything so that being said we're gonna go up here and show you how to do that now to save your workspace it's actually pretty easy it's under tools and options and when you get to this menu you're just gonna click on workspace and right here you see an import and export and a new workspace um, button here now we're not going to make a new workspace we're just going to export what we have and then I'll show you how we'll bring it back in and everything will be restored so we're just going to click on export now it's going to ask us what parts we want to save and um, I want to click on everything the dockers the menus the shortcuts the status bar the toolbars we're just going to save everything and if you want to go through there you can even open up some of these and pick different selections but I think in most case we just want to save everything here so I'm going to show that so we're just going to click save and it'll ask us um, where we want to save it and I'm going to save it to my desktop just as a convenient location and um, I've already got one saved there it's called workspace so I'm just going to select that but you can name it anything you want you may even want to give it a date so you know what date you save this um, so that you you know what your workspace looked like on that particular day if you ever want to bring it back and you can keep this file then if you ever mess up your workspace and you want to get it back so we'll just click save and it asks if we want to replace it and we say yes so that easily the workspace is saved so to show you how this works I'm going to go ahead and close CorelDRAW and I will restart it and set the defaults back to uh, to the factory defaults here so we're going to go ahead and close that I'm not going to save that now I'm back to my desktop okay I'm going to go down here to the start button and click on CorelDRAW and as I do that I'm going to hold down the F8 key it will give me this warning here after holding down the F8 key it says do you want to con uh, your current workspace to be factory default and I'm going to say yes and the reason I'm going to say yes is I can show you this looks like factory default we got our hints bar up here that we didn't have before and our quick start thing there so um, I can you can see my PDF button is not up here and my docker is not like we left it so all we need to do is we need to go up here I'm just gonna start a new page here so our menus look a little more familiar and we'll go up here to options again and go to workspace and instead of exporting obviously we're going to import this time click on browse go to my desktop and pick that file that we had saved which I called it workspace click the next button now we have the option of, of importing just the parts we want and we're gonna go ahead and leave everything selected there just like we exported everything click next and we're gonna make that our current workspace and then we'll click finish and voila just like that we have our dockers back where we had them um, we can we have that PDF button which is grayed out because I don't have anything drawn here but now you can see that PDF published PDF button is back just the way I had set it up before any changes to my workspace will be remembered so that's the way you can save that 
and bring it back let's say maybe on a new computer uh, maybe you can just save it in case you ever mess up your work, uh, workspace and you want to get it back you can re reload it back in so that's the way that works and hopefully that helps everybody out